if we start with the basic slider crank mechanism where we have a fixed link and on one side it has a crank and on the other there is a slider and if we fix link number four which is nothing but this slider then we get inversion number four and this is how it looks in a schematic diagram so link number four here is fixed on one side it has a partially rotating hinge so it is going to have an oscillating link connected to it and on the other side it has a sliding pair a prismatic pair so it will have a slider that slides in it so let us see how such mechanism would look in a little more detailed form revolute pair c over here is connected to a fixed link so this is going to only partially rotate so this link here which is link number three would only oscillate then we have this link over here which is link number one connected with a slider or sliding pair over here and the two other links b and a b and a are capable of full rotation let us see this in action so we'll hold it here and drag on it and indeed we get a and b as fully rotating pins while c gives only oscillatory motion and this link slides back and forth in our fixed link finally we will flesh it out even more and this is how it would look then so here we have a cylinder in that cylinder there is a piston so this is connected to our sliding link over here and on the body of this cylinder we have mounted this link CB and link a b and its extension becomes a handle with which it can be moved and then we have this mechanism this mechanism is used in hand pumps and that is one of the applications of inversion number four of slider crank mechanism